episode of 2021. Joined by my guests, Carson, Alex, and Crossan. Uh, we'll get started with the Pats finishing their season this past weekend. Finished at 7-9, and nine, missed the playoffs, kind of a disappointing season. Um, did you guys expect this with Brady leaving, or did you think we could maybe make a playoff push? I thought we'd make the playoffs, to be honest. When we signed Cam, I was pretty hopeful, and I thought that we could piece things together and that Belichick could take us to another, another playoff season. But um, obviously – I mean, it was looking good the first couple of weeks with Cam. He was doing a good job, and then he got COVID. And then I feel like from that point on, things started to unravel. And, yeah, now we're not in the playoffs. Yeah, I agree with Alex. I thought I was pretty – I think we'd do great. I think we'd be somewhere around the 500 record, but I still think we would have made the playoffs. But a little disappointed. Any off-season moves you'd like to see happen? Quarterback. Robert Tanya at tight end. Crossman, anyone specifically a quarterback or just a quarterback? Um, well we could draft one or we could get Matt Stafford. I'd rather either trade or get a free agent because Yeah, I don't want to draft I, someone. If, like if you're getting Zach Wilson, you're still gonna have to like groom him for three years. Like I just, I don't think he's NFL ready to just hop on the scene and go to the playoffs. So, also adding on to what you said, to me, they don't BYU doesn't really play amazing teams, so we don't really know how he plays against like at like guys from like the SEC or the Power Five conferences, who are all the guys who make the NFL. So it's kind of risky too. I mean, I would want um is it Trey Lance kind of over. Zach Wilson, guy from North Dakota State. I think that's where Carson Wentz went. I'm not sure, though. Yeah. No. Um, what about, like, the defense? We got guys coming back who opted out this year. Um, we'll have Gilmore who I think will be in his last year of his contract. And I think J.C. Jackson's contract's up. I really hope J.C. Jackson stays. I, I really like the way he played this season. I mean, he had a couple bad games. He had a bad one against um, Diggs in the Buffalo game. But, I mean, he was, he was doing really well. So I hope he stays. And then as for Stephon Gilmore, I don't – I think we should trade him just to get – a better draft pick and maybe some other stuff too. But other than that, I mean, and then we also have our, like you said, linebackers returning who opted out. And, yeah, so I think we could be set with that if we just keep those players. And isn't Patrick Chung coming back too? Didn't he opt out? Yeah. Yeah, there are like two safeties who opted out. So we'll get them back too. So defense should be better next year. It wasn't great. Yeah, it really wasn't good this year. Um, let's see what else we have. Um, I'm looking at mocks drafts right now. They have the Pats taking Kyle Pitts, the tight end from Florida. At like, what was it? I think we have 15. I feel like he might not fall that far, but. I don't, I also feel like that's kind of a waste of a pick. Still feel like they're gonna be still pretty good tight ends. There are definitely other positions that we need, like wide receivers. I agree. Yeah, I mean we've had like the worst tight ends in the league though, so yeah, it'd be helpful to get a it would first round stud. You get either one, can't really go wrong. Yeah. Um, what about the playoffs? What do you guys think of first round picks? I don't know who's playing, or like who's playing here. In the AFC, it's Ravens, Titans, Chiefs have the bye. Um, 
Browns, Steelers, and Bills, Colts. I want to see the I want to see the uh, Browns Steelers game because yeah. after Pittsburgh has been playing and I mean Browns didn't do too well. I think like two games ago they they lost to some team that was just not that good. Yeah, um, they lost to the Jets. They lost yeah. to the Jets with no yeah. receivers. No receivers. Yeah. Um, but they just beat the Steelers in the final game by two points. But the Steelers rested eight starters, so. Yeah. The Browns are also dealing with COVID. They're, like, facility issues. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't uh, think there's going to be really underdog wins there. I feel like most the teams who are supposed to win are going to win, probably. I don't think there's going to be really any upsets. What about in the yeah. NFC? It's Rams, Seahawks, Bucks, football team, Packers versus – Packers are on the bye. Oh, yeah, Packers are on the bye. Oh, then it's Bears, Saints. I can see the Rams beating the Seahawks. Um, Goff might not play, though. That yeah, that's true. A big loss. How's the dude do? Uh, what's – I forget his name. He – they benched um Walford. No. Yeah, him. Who? Seventeen. The Rams. Good. The Rams backup because he played. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's kind of trash. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think mostly teams that are gonna win are supposed to win too. I mean, I feel like the Rams defense might be able to just shut down Seattle. I feel like it could be a low-scoring game. Yeah. I don't know. Russell Wilson in the playoffs. It's a scary sight. Really good. I think, I think the Seahawks will win that. Um, like, their defense has improved. They used to be the worst secondary. And so, now going in with a better-looking defense and a really good offense. They have a good chance of winning. And they just beat them in, what was it, week 16. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, Bills are kind of on a roll right now. Do you think they could compete with the Chiefs? Or do you think they're kind of a pretender? I think they could make some noise in the playoffs, but I still think the Chiefs. Yeah, I think so. But so I definitely don't think they're pretenders. I mean, they're they're playing really well. So yeah, I agree with Cross. Yeah, they could. I think they'll make it to the AFC Championship, but I don't think they'll make it that much further. All right, moving on to the NBA. Alex's favorite subject of the day. Um, the Celtics got a game winner from Pritchard last night after Marcus Smart tried to huck up a really ugly layup. Uh, Pritchard's really surprised me. I thought he would just be like a new Carson Edwards and just ride the bench, but he's actually a really good basketball player. So what are your thoughts about the Celtics right now? Um. Pritchard's been doing well, but we still need more guys on the bench because we're playing people that shouldn't be playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's also like Brad Stevens starts a new bench lineup every night. Like one night he'll play Grant William. Like last night he played him for like 25 minutes. Like before he played him for zero. And then, like, he'll switch that off with Rob Williams. And I feel like just the inconsistency throws off the bench. I don't know. That and I, people are just playing, like, stupid. They're just not, like, playing basketball. They're just tucking up threes, which is what, like, some people are just, I don't know. It's not – they're not playing very smart. Tatum and Brown are good. Hmm? Tatum and Brown, like the highest scoring duo in the NBA right now. So that's 
good thing yeah. they film for us, but got nothing around them. Yeah. And it's, kind of even, it's not even so. playing too. It's also coaching. It's just like what you said, like the lineup's inconsistent. Yeah. Yeah. Like his he was starting Tristan Thompson and Daniel Tice in the starting lineup together. There's no need to run a double big lineup when neither of your bigs are like have a versatile playing style. You're both just a natural big. So besides Tice, it's like six to nine. Plays a lot bigger though. Um Curry dropped sixty two the other night. Pretty impressive. Still best in the league or best point guard in the league, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Good to see him back playing well. The Suns have looked pretty good. I guess that's due to the Chris Paul trade. Um, also Katie and Kyrie have been a pretty good duo, but Katie's on the COVID list, I think, right now. So. He's out. Kyrie doesn't get hurt this year. They could be very good in the playoffs. So, um, what are your thoughts on like the new look Rockets with uh, John Wall, Marcus Cousins, Christian Wood? I think they're pretty good. Um, John Wall's looked really good. Same with Christian Wood. <laughs> Arden just needs to put together some consistent performances. Yeah, I also think Harden just needs to suck it up and play with the team he has rather than asking for a trade. He has a yeah. pretty good squad of players. It's just yeah. yeah, they could definitely make a big run. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what else. Hmm. Uh, and Chara. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Chara leaving? Um, I think it's like a little bit sad because he was like so good for so long. He was our captain, but like he's really old. I think he's like forty three or something. And yeah. Just not that good anymore. So it's like leaving opportunity. Yeah. I think it wouldn't have hurt to keep him around as just like a third line defenseman, just I guess as a locker room guy. Yeah. But I feel like now he's just maybe chasing a Stanley Cup going to Washington. I don't know. Yeah, I completely agree with you guys. He's really dropped, like the last three years, he's not really contributed in terms of like actually playing but he is a very good like locker room guy and like captain so in that aspect yeah Yeah. I think it'll hopefully be a good year for the Bruins they won't lose to the Lightning in the playoffs again oh and Tuca needs to play in the playoffs and not go um all right i think that's all we have unless you guys have anything else you want to add no thanks tim thank you tim